Hello, welcome to my channel, Entrepreneur Mummy. Uh, my name is Joyce, and today I'm gonna be talking about what we have been doing during the last few days. It's been difficult to be at home as a mom. Like uh, I told you in the other video, we, we have to stay calm in order to get through all of this. And not only us as moms, but everybody in the world. However, I feel like sometimes if you are a mom of a little ones, like younger than five, you may relate. We are really struggling because you have to keep keep your children entertained and by this is like for example my four-year-old almost four-year-old daughter she's a really curious and she loves learning new things every day every minute so i have to get creative and bring new things to her every time it's been challenging because I am not a teacher. I am I am a software engineer. So I don't I'm not used to work with children. It's been difficult to get creative and get to know how to teach her some of the things and catch up with with a program that she's following in in her school. I've been doing my best and I started this week just to get myself organized and do some like kind of schedule and go and look on Pinterest for some activities and try to follow the Montessori program. It's been tough. But anyhow, the thing is that we have to adapt. This is our new normal and we don't know when it's going to be like it was before. So the only support that we moms have is our husbands and the internet. So in Pinterest there are a lot of activities and suggestions from other moms, from other teachers and our daughter's school is also sending us every day like some activities that they can do at home and, and things that we can do with the things that we already have at home we don't have to like buy new things but it's still really challenging because you have to prepare like for example for today's activities i did a very structured schedule for my daughter and it was just to have some ideas to what activities she could do throughout the day because every time that she asked me what can i work on mommy i'm like um let me look for something so last night i stayed up late like just getting ready for her schedule and her activities. I think I got her a little bit tired than other days today and I think that worked. Today I'm gonna show you some of the activities that uh, we have been doing together um, with my daughter. So today I'm gonna show you a science experiment that uh, we worked on today. It's about sinking and floating. So you can work on any object that you have at home that sinks or floats and uh, here's just some of, some ideas that you can get and if uh, if you need the template that i used just let me know and uh, i will be um posting the link on on my page on fa my facebook page and you can get it for free so it's uh it's just uh, we we need to keep supporting each other as moms so it's really, it's really good to, to have those sources for free as well. science project and we have here all the objects that we are going to need that are we have a button we have a pencil we have a key we have a nail a puppet of a unicorn a nail we have a leaf 
we have a paper clip but we didn't have a paper clip so we're going to use a, a safety pin a coin and a crayon and sugar so oh sorry so we also have a, a strawberry lemon or orange whatever you have we have the objects that we're going to use for the project and we need water as well we are going to see what is going to happen in the water okay, okay. what is this an eraser. an eraser so we have here an eraser and you're gonna put it on the water and see what happens okay. what happens is it floating or is it sinking? It, it went down. See? Yes, it was purple. It went down. So that means it sinks. So the eraser sinks. Here it says sink. sink. We have a paper with sink and float. And we are going to put the picture and the word here it says sink it goes down yeah. so we're going to use glue to put it here yeah. okay now we are going to see what happens with a coin yeah. put it there the water. What happened? It's sinking. It's sinking. It went down. All the way down. <laughs> so here is the picture of the coin. Are you going to put it where? In the sinking column or in the floating? Sinking. Muy bien. Right, good job. Now we're going to use, what is this? A leaf. A leaf. We couldn't find another type of leaf <laughs> outside, so that's what we have here in Canada. So put it there in the water and see and see what happens. It's floating. Did it went all the way down? Wow! So the leaf floats. Donde lo vamos a poner? We're gonna... There. Good job. Okay, now we're going to use a... Pencil. A pencil. Let's see what happens with a pencil. Pencil. It's a broken pencil. Yeah. Can I put it in? Yes. Put it in. Oh, flows. It flows. Mm -hmm. The pencil floats. So where are we going to put this pencil? We're going to put it. Now we have a... Okay. Another leaf here. Yes, there's another leaf. What happened with the key? It went down to the bottom. It went down to the bottom. So it sinks or floats? Sinks. Sinks. So let's put the key on the key. sink. Okay. So now we have a button. A button. Or what, let's see what happens with the button. Now we have a marker. A crayon. crayon, yes, we have a crayon. 
Let's look for the crayon and the bucket. <gasps> what happened? What is this? A nail. Nail. So let's look for a nail here. Or something similar. <laughs> there yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens with a nail. <gasps> what happened? Okay, so now we have a paper clip, but we don't have a paper clip, so we're gonna use a safety pin. Let's see what happens. It went down to the bottom. And now we have a unicorn puppet. Let's see what happens. It floats. Where does it go? Where are you gonna put the unicorn? There. There, because it floats. What is gonna happen with the lemon? Let's see. Flows. It flows! The lemon flows! I hope you like this project. If you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe, to click on the subscribe button. Click on the little bell on the, on the side of the subscribe button so you can get all the notifications every time that I upload a new video. Did you like the, the science project? Yes! Did you have fun? Yes! Thanks for watching!